Yakuza 3 is a gritty adventure that thrusts you fist first into the Japanese underworld. Violence bends you to its will, but it rewards players who uphold the bonds of its familial namesake organization. The juicy soap opera story, striking visuals and kooky Japanese humour will suck you in, but combat quirks aside, the scope and variety of extra activities let you lose yourself in the city and have you belting out one last karaoke tune long after the credits roll on the main story. The game picks up a year after Yakuza 2 and puts you back in the shoes of Kazuma Kiryu, former fourth chairman of the Tojo clan. After leaving the criminal underground, you open an orphanage and play foster father to a handful of local kids. You do all the things parents do. Confront school bullies, navigate the treacherous waters of teen dating advice, and extol the value of money. It's these seemingly banal exchanges peppering the storyline that reinforce the importance of family and represent the tradition and moral code of the Yakuza being eroded by gangsters more interested in money and power. If you haven't played a Yakuza game before, there are optional lengthy recap videos and written character profiles covering the first two games on the disc. So while you might struggle a little initially, you can quickly get up to speed on who people are and where they fit in. Even without them in the bulky backstory, by the end of the game there's genuine emotional connection with the characters. Leaving Sleepy Okinawa to head back to Kamarucho and your old neighbourhood, you peel back layers of information and punch and kick your way through street level thugs to the men dishing out the orders. As you go, you wrestle with your own morality, shelving it in the name of the code. Defeating an opponent is enough to get them to spill the beans and you move on to find your next target further up the food chain. As Kazuma battles rivals old and new, he attempts to right his own wrongs and shield young wannabe Yakuza Rikia from the harsh reality of playing alongside the big boys in Tokyo. Brawling remains basic from the first two games, it can only be started with those who attack you in the streets or in specific combat scenarios. Punch, kick and grab moves are your bread and butter, with throws and wrestling style takedowns adding variety to the gameplay. Exploiting an opponent while their guard is down is the best way to get a few hits in, rather than going in guns blazing from the outset. Fists are your main weapons, but stun guns, swords, shotguns, staves and nunchucks are all available to buy and pick up off dead bodies. Item durability makes weapons more about situational use, like knocking someone over or keeping them at bay than is your main form of attack. Weapon and armor modification and crafting is available and lets you combine bought and found items to form mitigation against damage types like bullets and knives or play MacGyver and modify everyday objects into super weapons. Landing a string of melee attacks charges up your heat, the game's form of energy. Releasing it unleashes special attacks and brutal finishing moves like slamming skulls into walls, breaking bicycles over heads, and painful flashy weapon executions. Target locking in Yakuza 3 improves on its predecessors, but while keeping your current target isn't a problem, getting hit from behind as you try and turn and face your attacker or frame the action with the game's camera isn't foolproof. Attack animations continue to play out when you're trying to manoeuvre away from danger and it's not uncommon to get caught up in a flurry of hits as you wait to resume control. These issues aside, combat feels meaty, animations look great and the sound effects as you connect your fist or foot to their body are good and hefty. Defeating bosses and completing the plethora of side quests and hired gun missions around the city rewards experience points used to upgrade your abilities and increase your health and heat bars. New fighting styles are introduced through hilarious and very Japanese revelation challenges where you complete a quick time event to snap photos of bizarre street behaviour on your mobile phone. These off the wall challenges include capturing a woman handing out tissue samples at ninja like speed, a drunken businessman stumbling to avoid being hit by a teenager and a woman flipping her scooter 360 degrees over a car while she ogles a picture of a pop star on a billboard. It's a very different way to introduce new abilities, but they're a blast to search out and complete and are valuable for improving your character. Undoubtedly one of Yakuza 3's best characters is the environment. The city's living, breathing feel and attention to detail are astonishing. Vending machines line walls, popular Japanese brands of food and drink are available to buy, and the excitable welcoming yells of Irashaimase as you enter businesses makes it feel like home. 
You can't walk into every building in the city, but a color-coded map means you'll never have to bump into invisible walls or jiggle the knob of every door. There's a strange serenity in this vibrant and hectic city as you eavesdrop on locals chattering and watch couples meet and embrace each other. But as beautiful as it may seem on the surface, the game snaps you back to its darker personality as club promoters follow you spruiking their sordid wares and strangers stop you cold in your tracks to swap skin in random street fights. The events of the story will drive you forward to the absolute end, but extra content is what gives Yakuza 3 a welcome sense of diversity. Over 100 side and hitman quests allow you to do everything from carrying ice cream for a father who is overpurchased to playing UFO catcher claw machines in an arcade, chasing down a bag snatcher and offering financial advice to a man deep in debt and hanging out on the side of a bridge. There's the option to browse magazines at convenience stores, take ladies out on dates, go fishing and try your luck in the underground casino dens and fight clubs. Some of the activities serve purposes, eating at restaurants replenishes your health while practicing your swing at the Yoshida batting cage is just a nice way to unwind after a hard day of pulping faces on the sidewalk. Ultimate skill, premium adventure and premium new game options are unlocked once you finish the 20 plus hour main story. Ultimate skill pits you against a series of trials that let you relive cage matches with boss battles from the story. Take on the clock as you pummel hordes of attackers and win rounds using only nominated abilities. Tag team matches are fun and pair you with an AI buddy as you grapple with two targets at once. If you want to just blow through the story first and come back to the side quests, the premium adventure and premium new game modes give you the chance to go back and tie up all the loose ends, max out your character stats or simply wander around the city with or without your bankroll. They're great additional content, but since the game doesn't have a branching storyline, you'll replay the same events over a second time. The delay bringing Yakuza 3 to the West has been worth the wait. Localization has trashed some of the more esoteric Japanese culture content, like hostess clubs, but the excellent Japanese voice acting remains and subtitles have been added instead of redubbing the audio. Sega has also thrown in the Japanese downloadable content for Nyx. Don't let the fact you haven't played previous Yakuza games stop you from picking this up. Getting up to speed on each character's history starts off a little bit steep, but by the time the ride ends, everything falls neatly into place and you've made genuine connections with endearing characters. Yakuza 3's detailed and living environments, roller coaster story, and abundance of extra things to see and do make it an entertaining ride and a great addition to your brawler collection. <laughs> ありがとうございました。